Hello students, I am Mrs. Piyasa Ghosh, your English teacher and I am here today to explain the chapter, uh, the poem on killing a tree by Giv Patel. First, let me give a small introduction of the chapter. It is not easy to cut a tree. Various methods are applied in cutting it. The poet makes us sensitive and tells not to cut trees. Killing a tree is equal to killing a human being. So the poem is a symbolic composition. Now let's begin with the poem. You must have observed people cutting down trees. But can they kill a tree? Is it easy to do so? So the poet in the beginning asks us a question that it is that easy to cut a tree? So let's read the poem and find out what the poet says on killing a tree. The first answer. It takes much time to kill a tree. Not a sim simple jab of the knife will do it. It has grown slowly, consuming the earth, rising out of it, feeding upon its crust, absorbing years of sunlight, air, water, and out of its leprous hide, sprouting leaves. First and foremost, all of you start writing the meaning. Jab means a sudden blow. Consuming means taking. Absorbing means getting. Leprous hide. Hide means skin. And leprous hide means discolored bark of a tree. And sprouting means growing. So this entire poem is based on about how to cut a tree and what happens after cutting a tree, after a tree is being killed. As I told you in the introduction part that the killing of a tree is compared to the killing of a human being. So the entire poem is a symbolic composition. Now let's go into the detailed explanation. So the poet in the very first line says that a cutting of a tree is not done by the wink of an eye. It takes time. And a simple jab, a simple sudden blow with a knife will not pull down a tree. And what is the reason? Because a tree has grown up gradually from the earth. It did not take one day to grow up. And the growing of the process, the growing of the tree was only possible due to its years and years of sunlight, air and water. And due to these three nutrients, due to all the other nutrients, the tree was able to grow up in a full-fledged manner. And as, a, as it grows gradually, the hide, the skin of the tree becomes discolored, becomes dark brown. And from its dark brown bark, there are sprouting leaves, different leaves grows up from a tree. So the entire stanza, first stanza says that it takes a lot of time to cut a tree. Only one single strike is not enough to kill it. It takes a lot of time to grow up. Also, so it requires sunlight, air, water and other nutrients to grow up. Now let's go to the second stanza. First we will read. So hack and chop. But this alone won't do it. Not so much pain will do it. The bleeding bark will heal. And from close to the ground will rise curled green twigs. 
miniature boughs, which, if unchecked, will expand again to form a size. First, the word meaning. Hack means to cut roughly. All the children will write down the meanings. Chop means cut. Bleeding means sap. In bracket, you can write the white color liquid. Heal means to recover. Curled means zigzag. Miniature means small. Unchecked means unnoticed. So the poet says, so let's imagine that we are hacking the tree. We are cutting it roughly. We are chopping down the tree. But simply hacking and chopping is not enough. A purpose will not be served if we are simply hacking and chopping a tree. Now, it has been compared, as I told you, that the killing of a tree has been compared to the killing of a human being. So, when a person is killed, what is the first thing that comes out from the body? It's the blood. Our body bleeds. Similarly, when a tree is hacked down, it starts bleeding, but not in red color, it is in white color. Let me tell you something that in America, in South America, there is a tree known as the milk tree, the cow tree. It is called the cow tree. And why it is called the cow tree? Because the tree gives out a white color liquid and that liquid which the tree gives out from its body is used for drinking tea and coffee. And it is a fact. You can check it out from the encyclopedia also. So, the bleeding bark, bleeding over here means the after cutting down, after chopping down the tree, what comes out from the body? The white color blood, the white color sap, the white liquid will heal. It may give out the white color liquid from the body, from the tree's bark, but gradually and slowly, this white color sap heals up. For example, if you are cutting your hand, it bleeds, but it does not remain bleeding all the time. It heals at some time or the other. So similarly, a tree gives out a white color liquid, but it also heals very slowly. And after it is healed, what happens? From the very same place from where it has been cut, curled green twigs and miniature boughs grows up. So the process of growing of a tree does not stop by the cutting down of or the hacking or the chopping of the tree. It is done temporarily. The sap comes out but the sap is healed and after that from the very same place the curled green twigs, twigs means leaves, comes out it grows in a zigzag way, not in a straight manner. Miniature brows, small branches also erupts from the very same place where it has been hacked. And if we don't trim it up from time to time, if we are not noticing it from time to time, these small twigs and boughs will expand, will grow and grow and grow and takes a very big size. It takes the former size. It grows back into the previous size. So every time a tree needs to be trimmed, needs to be taken care of, needs to be noticed so that it doesn't expand gradually. Now we will go to the third stanza. Third stanza. Uh, before we go to the third stanza, let me give you a small summary of the second stanza. It will not kill the tree by only hacking and chopping. A white liquid sap comes out of it while hacking. 
that sap will recover gradually then new leaves will and branches will again grow out of it and will take the form of a tree now we will go to the third stanza no the root is to be pulled out out of the anchoring earth it is to be roped tied and pulled out snapped out or pulled out entirely out from the earth cave and the strength of the tree exposed the source white and wet the most sensitive hidden for years inside the earth first we will begin with the word meaning pulled out means dig out anchoring means attaching snapped out means chopped out earth cave means cavity sensitive means tender okay so the poet says the tree is huge it has literally have to be pulled out and how not by one just pulling out with the hand no it has to be dug the, the soil needs to be dug up and then only the root which is deep inside the earth which is anchored inside the earth can be taken out gradually the root is so deeply inside the earth anchored inside the earth that from up from the upper layer you are not able to see the source of this root you cannot see the source for that you need to dig up the soil and then only you will see the anchored root inside deep inside the earth it is there attached to the earth deep down inside the earth so for pulling it out you need to rope it up you have to tie it up and then only you can pull out and chop out the root and the tree then only the entire root can be uprooted otherwise it will come out in parts and bits and once it is pulled out what happens a earth cavity a cavity is created inside the earth why why a cavity why there is a hole because the root has been pulled out and the strength of the tree exposed the source white and wet the most sensitive hidden for years inside the earth so this root was there deep inside the earth for many many years the root has also become so strong like an anchor you know a ship can be ship a ship can be harbored at the uh, um, area at the particular area for how to with the help of an anchor otherwise the ship will float away similarly the root is the anchor of the tree it keeps the tree in its place and when it is pulled out when the root is pulled out the tree is also out of its root out of its soil and it is exposed out and you will see once it is pulled out the color the source means from where the root has come out it is white and it is wet it is sensitive for why why it is sensitive why it is tender because it was hidden deep inside the earth for years and years now i'll give you a small summary of the stanza stanza number 3 a tree stands erect due to its roots which is deep inside the soil and acts as an anchor if we have to kill a tree then its roots needs to be uprooted the root has to be pulled out totally with the help of a rope and also tied the root is hidden inside the earth for many years it is white and wet and it is fixed deep inside the earth now i will go to the last stanza then the matter of scorching and choking in sun and air browning hardening twisting withering 
and then it is done. Underline these four words browning, hardening, twisting and withering. You will also underline scorching and choking. So all these words symbolizes the drying of the tree. It symbolizes the drying up of the tree. So once the tree is pulled out from its roots, what happens? It gets the uh, deep, the scorching heat, the rain, the air. So as a result of these things, it starts browning, it starts hardening, it starts twisting and it starts withering. Withering means it starts fading away. And then it is done. That means finally the tree is killed. Now the tree has no life because we all know that the tree is a living thing. So now I will tell you the small summary of this stanza. When the tree is detached and uprooted from the earth, it starts drying up. Its drying process starts as it will stop getting nutrients and gets detached. When the tree will get the scorching heat and air, it will start getting brown, harden, wither and twist and finally die. So what is the message of this poem? The message of this poem is do not kill and uproot trees because they are living things and very sensitive. The poet is trying to make us emotional 